Good day. I am Queen Jefferson, the hostess of The Voices Program. Sue Bono. Sue Bono is an African proverb that I say everywhere I go. It simply means, I see you, I hear you, and I honor you. My brothers and sisters, I stand as tall as I do, for I stand on the backs of my ancestors. Had it not been for them and those who lost their lives through the struggle, I would not have this privilege to be able to pass on the baton of knowledge. Where there's knowledge, there's power. Power to make a difference in our communities. I say to you again, Subano, I see you, I hear you, and I honor you. We are recording live at Viage Entertainment, located at 5120 Forest Lane, second floor, Hyattsville, Maryland, 20781. Their vision is to create a healthier and balanced world through true artistry in entertainment. For more information, call them at 240-623-0800. That's 240-623-0800. She is a songwriter, a lead soloist, and a new solo artist. She comes from a musical background, family. Miss Lynn's motto is using what she's been gifted with to, be to the best of her ability and encourage others to do the same. Welcome, Miss Lynn. Tell us a little bit about that song. Mm -hmm. Uh, inside of me is a song that was actually conceived, I guess, about four years ago. Mm -hmm. It has taken me that long to uh, get it out to the rest of the world. Um, there's been many iterations of it. I've worked with a couple of different producers. I've even had different sounds uh, with it. So um, it basically started with a awakening that everything that I needed to be successful, to be prosperous, to be fruitful, to be whatever I wanted to be was already inside of me. Mm -hmm. And it took me a very long time to get to that point. So the lyrics talk about how I got to that point. Your inspiration for songs, where does it come from? Life. Mm -hmm. Life. Talk, it. talk to us about life. <laughs> life. Uh, in life, there's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times, there's going to be struggles, there's going to be love, there's going to be heartbreak, um, all kinds of stuff. So that's where it comes from. Well, we can't talk about inspiration and we can't talk about the work you're doing without talking about your producer. Introduce your producer and tell us some more about him. All right. My producer, who's sitting here next to me, is Terrell Vaughn, a.k.a. Rello Beats. Okay. <laughs> You want to tell them? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, I'm a producer, engineer um, from the DMV area. Um, I've been in music for about 10 years. I would say I've been doing music my whole life, but being very serious with it and business like minded with it uh, for about 10 years now. Um, um, yeah, and I'm just steady, steady pursuing my dream. You know? So, Mr. Vaughn, what do you like most about working with Miss Lynn? Uh, I like it. I like initially the relationship because it was different for me. It was uh, taking me out of my comfort zone. I never worked with an older artist before and I wanted to create something new, you know. I wanted to bring the old feeling back that, you know, my parents expressed and that I saw as a young a young person. I wanted to bring that old feeling back but with the new feel to, the, to my generation, you know. So, and I felt like we, we accomplished that. You know? Can I fix something though? He keeps saying the word old. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> old about me. Maybe wise, nah. seasoned, you know, wise, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You know how the youngins do. They talk. Right. They always say, if you're old, we're over thirty, you're old. It's, it's, <laughs> it's my way of having respect. Yeah. And we applaud you. And the young, <laughs> the young men now that are doing positive things, this is great yeah, because you is. now are bringing both cultures together in mm -hmm. one. Miss Lynn, you talked earlier in an interview about your mother being your greatest motivator. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that. Oh, wow. My mother, um, since I was young, my mother has always encouraged me to sing. Anytime anybody said, we need a singer, my mother was the one to like force me 
the thing, even though I didn't want to, I didn't want to be in the limelight. I didn't want to be out in the front. I was fine singing at home in front of the stereo where we used to play our 45s and mm -hmm. albums and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was fine doing that. I was fine singing on my grandmother's porch with my cousin. Mm -hmm. But uh, my mother obviously saw something in me and she felt like I had a gift that everybody else needed to see. So she would always push me. Um, and she's still doing that today. Mm -hmm. Still doing it. <laughs> I started singing um, growing up in the Baptist church as a young lady. Um, she was the one that kind of like pushed me out of the boat, for lack of a better word. Anytime anybody was looking for a vocalist, someone to sing, she would be like, my daughter can do it, my daughter can do it, she sings. Um, so, yeah, I would say she was the one that kind of pushed me, motivated me. Growing up, I was always really shy. Um, things that I'm doing now, I would not have done earlier in life. So at some point, um, and I can't even tell you exactly when it happened, I got the courage to step out and do those things that I enjoy, those things that I love. Like I said, I used to write poetry when I was younger. I wouldn't share that with the rest of the world. My mom was probably the only person that knew. But at some point in my life, I learned, I figured out that um, no matter what you do, there's going to be somebody that doesn't like it. So you may as well just do you. Just be yourself. Did your mother also... Um uh, Mr. Vaughn, talk to you about or encourage you to be a producer? But actually, it was really my father that planted wow. the, the seed in me. He used to play music all night, he used mm. to drive us crazy. <laughs> but he, he loved his music, though, he's still to this day, you know? Mm -hmm. And as a youngin', you know, I used to find out that he used to DJ parties and stuff like that. So we I always been around music, you know, mm -hmm. from day one. So, How do you get your inspiration to write? Miss Again, writing is something that I've done since I was younger. Um, I used to write poetry. Okay. And coincidentally, my mom was the only one that knew. Like, I would write these poems just about anything. Um, I remember when I was 16, my mother decided to get pregnant again. So, no, yeah, when I was 15. So I have a sister that we're 16 years apart. Wow. But during that period, I wrote this little poem. So mama's having a baby, something, something. And I mean, I would just write just, again, about life, just different things that were happening. But that's but, interesting that you said you took the life of your sister being born mm -hmm. and wrote from that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's powerful. Do you write your other music in the same way? Yes. Give us an example. Um... Let me think of some of the lyrics. Um, I want a guy who will treat me like a queen. You know, the kind you see on the cover of a magazine. Okay. Um, I want a guy who will love me every day, but recognize I need some time to go my own way. Like, you know, okay. love on me, but give me my space at the same time. Um, just... That's that beautiful. Of, thank you. That's beautiful. Just them two lines. Right? Just them two lines. <laughs> you got something for one line. Yeah, and there's more. There's more. It gets a little more graphic later on, but I keep it. I want to be graphic, but at the same time, keep it clean. Clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Miss Lynn, in a previous interview, you talked about something that happened in October 1998 that changed your life forever. What was that? I believe that's when I stopped smoking. I believe so. I want to know more about it because you said it changed your life. I thought it had something to do with your, your in relationship or your son. Um, yes. And, and, yes. And you, I remember it being so powerful, but I wanted you to share that. I, I didn't know how much I told you, see. It, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, I used to smoke cigarettes. And um, I had a son who at the time actually had asthma. Mm -hmm. And I was always in and out of the hospital with him, not realizing that I was probably part of the reason why he was suffering. But anyway, my son, um, who I call my guardian angel because he's always been an old soul. He's always um, looked out for me. Even when he was younger, mm. I would be, I would have to sneak out of my house to smoke my cigarettes because I knew my son was going to have something to say. Mm -hmm. um, back then they were teaching kids in school that smoking was unhealthy. So he would say stuff like, you're going to die. Your, um, your lungs are going to turn black. All kinds of crazy. Well, not crazy, but um, it just made me start thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and on October 1, I believe, it was actually mm -hmm. October the 1st, um, 
I asked God to take that away from me because I did not want to do it anymore. And I had tried several times before, but I think at that time, because I had gone to the Creator, I went to the Source, and I genuinely wanted to stop. Mm -hmm. He took it away. That's amazing. And I have not picked up a cigarette since then. We applaud. I don't. I don't even. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. No How desire many years has it been now? So. That was 98. This is 2018. Wait a oh, minute. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So that's a landmark. Okay. That's, yes. That's I, I beautiful. I need to celebrate on October yes. 1. Yes, I didn't right. realize that. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That also saved your voice. Yes, it did. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. And you know, it's funny because um, one of my uncles who's a musician, mm -hmm. been playing all, um, all my life. I don't know. You know Uncle John? Back then when I was singing, he would tell me that he could not use me be, until I stopped smoking wow. cigarettes. It just came back to me. Wow. He told me that he would not use me until I stopped smoking. Mm -hmm. um, and that kind of hurt me. Mm -hmm. But guess what? what? Um, I'm singing right. I'm performing right now at a place called Middleton Hall down in Waldorf, Maryland. Okay. And guess who got me that gig? Mm -hmm. Your uncle. My uncle. All of this is like coming <laughs> to me. This is so funny. It's all coming to me. Wow. How has B.I. to entertainment wow. really changed your life? Wow. I would not be sitting here with you today okay. had it not been for B.I. Inside of me probably would not be uh, worldwide on every platform there is wow. had it not been for Viage. Um, Carlencia, my vocal coach, mm -hmm. um, has taught me so much. More than just singing pretty, she has um, a, uh, taught me music, been an artist mm -hmm. from a holistic point mm -hmm. of view. Everything from vocal hygiene, um, exercise, health, weight loss, spiritual stuff. Mm. Digging like really, really deep inside. Mm -hmm. Why do you do what you do? What's your motivation? What's your purpose? All that stuff. So it sounds like it changed you from the inside out. Yes. And that that's very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Do you think it had an effect on your music? Absolutely. In what way? It helped me to... Just be honest, mm. just to be real, just to be myself um, and allow what's, allow myself to say what really needs to be said yeah. rather than trying to do what I thought other people wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. How has VI helped your producing uh, abilities in your work that you're doing as a young man? Well, I met uh, Carlencia when uh, we had our studio session. She mm -hmm. came in with Miss Lynn, and I just felt her vibe, you know, when she was uh, coaching Miss Lynn in the booth, and it helped me, you know, guide the song, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it helped it helped with the vocals, it helped with everything, you know? Like, it, helped, and it just, it lifted it 10 times higher, you know? So, it was definitely a, a vital piece. And that's why it felt shaky, and that's why it was like, Ooh, when you got to the end of it, you have to commit right on that open, open up your mind, take. I mean, but really. what I did was okay. I just need to sing. It. Sing your full voice. Okay. It, no, They'd rather did. see you fail than help you succeed. Seed. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is a D on, it's the, a end D on the end of that. Show. <laughs> They'd <laughs> rather see you fail than help you succeed. But don't take that breath in between there. Mm-hmm. Open up your mind. Take a look at Uh-uh. Oh no. Nope. I almost cut. She mind. won't let take me do it. Take a look inside. Find out Leave me alone. what you need. That's what she's trying to get me yeah, to do. Yeah, He's like, no, work. pull it. You pull know, it. Go, go. It's 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 so good when we can come together as one. Because it sounds like you all became one in the spirit yeah. with VI Entertainment. Yep, wow. absolutely. You consider so. your work a ministry? Absolutely. In yes. what way? Um, I, well, my prayer or my hope is that it helps to motivate somebody else. It encourages somebody else um, to just step out and do what's already, you know, Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Yeah. yeah. Follow your dreams. Just live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really. Mm -hmm. Just live. So for more information about um, the work that you're doing and your touring, how can people get in contact with you? My website is uh, I am Miss Lynn dot com. Real easy. I am 
M-S-L-Y-N-N.com. Um, you'll find links to all of my social media there. Um, my events are um, posted there as well. Okay. And is there a phone number? Phone number, 301-651-2266. Absolutely call me. Okay. <laughs> and Mr. Vaughn, how could someone contact you? Uh, you can reach me by my social media, of course. You can reach me there on Rello Beats. That's R-E-L-L-O-B-E-A-T-S underscore N-S. And you can email me, uh, same, rellobeats at gmail.com. Or you can call me, 202-749-4186. Well, could you give us some closing words before we um, close out? Closing words. Uh, follow your dreams. Mm. Don't ever give up. Trust the process. Because mm. that's another thing that I didn't really get into. Um, and love it's like, the there is Yes, <laughs> enjoy the process. Um, whatever God has for you, and I know it sounds cliche, but whatever God has for you is for you. Mm -hmm. You have to trust that it's going to come to fruition. Um, and just, just ride away. Yeah. And for more information, you can contact me at 202-210-1861. That's 202-210-1861. Regina Jefferson at Yahoo.com. Thank you and have an amazing and prosperous day.